Hi, and welcome to the first in this Faro laser scans in Autodesk Navisworks series. In this particular video, we're going to look at how we can manually line a scan file to a model. So the first thing that I'm going to do now is just go and append two files to this project, which are the point cloud in RCP format. And I'm then going to go and find the federated design model in NWD format and bring them both into this particular Navisworks file. So if we just zoom in and have a bit of a look now at these projects, these two separate files, um, as you can see they're on different transforms, uh, different coordinate systems, and currently we have the steelwork model showing for the design model, so if we just hide that off, you can see we've still got slabs there and uh, civils, and if I just bring back in the MEP, you can see we've got a full MEP design, um, with ceilings included, and we also have the external envelope, or the architectural design model. As you can see, obviously that's quite similar to the point cloud. And I'm just going to bring the steelwork model back in as this is what we're going to use to align the point cloud and the design model. So, if I also just go into my RCP file, now you'll see I have got some scans that were done during the construction phase and I've got them in a separate RCS files within the RCP file itself. So if I just turn some of those off, we've just got one area here. So if we align this area to the design model, the transform of the entire RCP file will be edited as well, and we will therefore have a design model aligned to an Asbro point cloud. So in order to update the transform of the scan file to align it to the model, the first thing I'm going to do is go into the review tab and do a point to point measurement between a position on the scan and its rel relative position on the model file. This is as accurate as I can be at this stage, so I'll just drop that in there. I'm then going to go and um, use transform selected items. So I'm just going to highlight the scan file in the structure tree and press transform selected items, and that is going to update the transform of that file based on that measurement. Now you'll see we still need to align these files in the X and Y planes and we also need to just check that we've got that initial alignment as accurate as possible. So we'll just zoom into the particular column that we just used. I'm just going to update that transformation again using an additional measurement just to close out any minor inaccuracies. So just take this measurement here now. I'm going to highlight the point cloud in the structure tree and I'm just going to go transform selected items to move that across. So the next tool we're going to use is the angular measurement tool uh, to bring the X and Y into alignment. So I'm just going to go and use an angle measurement and I'm just going to take a measurement on the back of this steel column here. And the second measurement is the actual angle we're going to generate. So using the grid lines of the air steel frame itself, we're going to generate an angular measurement here. So the third point there gives us an angle of 4.052 degrees. And again, just transform those selected items, and that's going to bring those two models into alignment. So we've just maximized this view a bit here and zoom in to see the actual alignment of the steel frame We've, we've just created and we can go in also and turn on some of the other RCS files of the other areas of steel frame from within that RCP file in the structure tree. So just unhide those. You can see now we've got a very good alignment between the as built steelwork scan and the design steelwork scan. So I'm quite happy with what we've got. Um, also, I can turn on the overall external envelope there the scan of the outside of the building and we can see this all seems to line up quite well. So in the next video we're going to look at sectioning some of these areas and doing some alignment checks with measurements etc.